Hello, my name is Veronica, and welcome to the Learning Lab, my 100th episode, and it's another Learning Lab short, this time focusing on the mini gears. So some of the tools that we're going to use today, wow, I know lots of them. I'll start down here on the front. I am going to use this cute little Snagum robot stamp that I have. He looks a lot like gears and sprockets, so I thought he'd be appropriate. And he is going to be stamped with some versifying Onyx Black ink. Now, as far as my card goes, I am going to lay down a base onto my glossy card stock, and I'm going to consider butterscotch, oregano, and denim as some of my accent colors. But as the main lay down, I wanted to come from this big and juicy pad, and I'm thinking I want to stay down in this orange yellow area. We'll see. But I'm going to do that using the Crafters Workshop template mini gears, and I'm in love with these minis, and as I said, glossy card stock, and once I get that down, I am going to go over my template with my Versamark. Now, as far as laying down my color, I am going to use my brayer, and in the end, if need be, I'll come back and accent with some black soot and vintage photo. Let's get started. Now, with this big and juicy, once you open the lid, all of the colors look the same. So to help know where you are, just give the lid a little squeeze. So now that when you open it, you can see in which area you want to be. And I know that I want to be down in this area with my brayer. And I know I don't want my color to be that dark, so I'm going to take off just a little bit of that ink. Oh yeah, that lifted off quite a bit. So now I want to come in and start inking my card. And this stripe that I've gotten down the middle because I wasn't very careful, it's okay. I'm not that concerned about it. But what I am going to do is give this a chance to dry and then I'm just going to clean off my brayer. And I do that by using a wet wipe nice and clean. Now I do want to go ahead and do some inking around the edges of my card. And now one thing when you're inking, there are lots of different choices that you can use. You can use the cut and dry foam, which I adore and I, I think it's great. You can also use your ink essentials tool to apply it. If you have one of these, you can use that unless you're like me and your hands are very large. Thanks dad. And you know, it's uncomfortable to get your finger in there, but you can always hold it that way. But here's something I stumbled across. I was recycling a bunch of these clothes hangers that look like this. You know, the ones that hold your slacks and your skirts. And the cushion was there to keep this metal imprint from going into your clothing. Well, I had already donated tons of these. And I found a few more in my closet and was ready to recycle those also. When I realized I could use this with my foam to apply some ink. So, when I stopped wearing makeup, I took all my cosmetic wedges and I started recycling them. So what I did was I removed this from the clothes hanger, but because the wire, the metal going through is what held it together, I took a match and removed the burn part, put that through the hole, and it holds it together and I have a nice clip here to use. So I'm going to use my upcycled applicator to apply some color around the edges of my card. Now this is one I created by using this uh, clamp that you can buy in the store.
So this is now ready for your card front or your scrapbook page. If you want to get more bang for your buck, just simply do a rough tear along there, ink those edges, and you can make two cards out of one or to separate them on your scrapbook page. I think this is cute and for me, it's this little robot guy that does it all. Thank you for joining me in the lab today. Please remember to check out my blog at inkillusions.blogspot.com where you'll find a lot more information and inspiration. Until then.